If your project requires to use whisk cloak to beautify your elements as well as skeleton loaders, you want to do following steps. And it's very simple. You can set it up in just a matter of seconds. So as you can see, if you reload this page, we have multiple components that change. We have the list content, skeleton list content. And now we have the list for the items and the list for the items was hidden. There is no content flashing. And the way we're going to accomplish that is using a super little bit of uh, code. So if we go to the head of the page, we have this code and this will be in the video description as well. And yeah, this is it. We just have this code. We can call it with cloak. We can call it one, two, three, four, whatever, uh, or actually it needs to be stringified, but we can call this however we want. Um, for simplification, let's call it with cloak. And we're just setting this in the style panel of the website. And then we are adding this, as you can already see in this clonable here, we're just adding with cloak as an attribute. That's it. Um, if you want to do a value, you can do true or, but that wouldn't matter at all. That wouldn't do anything. Um, sometimes what I like to do is I like to write in the value of the function, for example, render items. It has no utility and some people may tell you that's not good because it introduces things that are not supposed to be in the side code, in the side code. But I find this very helpful um, because if you have a page, one project I had had like hundred times of whisk cloak and you just don't know where is it cloaking right now? What's what's cloaking? And that's what I like to do is I like to put in the whisk cloak the, the name of the action, a bit like MBAP1, just to know for myself, okay, this cloak is associated with this because when you have hundreds of actions um, and hundreds of elements, it may get a bit confusing. So this is what I like to do. And then as you can see, if we just publish that, we have the whisk cloak, we have the custom code, and we don't have any content flashing here. If I were to remove the cloak, the custom code in the header of the site code, like this, it would content flash, right? Let me just show you an example how this would look. You see this? It's content flashing right here. And this is the issue with WIST cloak. Um, or with, with, with WIST, because it is loading the data, it takes some time because it's dynamic. So we just add WIST cloak, this custom code. Very simple. It will be in the video description as well. And this solves all our uh, challenges and makes sure that everything is pretty. And just a recommendation, if you're already working with with cloak, it is worthwhile looking into skeleton loaders as well, because I think there are not enough with applications utilizing the magic and the power of skeleton loaders. And with cloak plus skeleton loader is the real deal. Look at that. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate that and have a wonderful day. Bye bye.